Five Norfolk Bay ships await word from President Obama, who says he has not made a final decision on Syria. Secretary of State John Kerry made a case for a strike. You may have seen it during Wavy News 10 midday. He told Americans there is evidence the Syrian government recently used chemical weapons against its own people. This kind of attack is a challenge to the world. Uh, we cannot accept a world where women and children uh, and innocent civilians are gassed on a terrible scale. Uh, this kind of attack threatens our national security interests. So the primary question is really no longer what do we know. The question is what are we, we collectively, what are we in the world going to do about it? And that is an answer many Hampton Roads families are waiting for. Ten on your side's military reporter Art Kahn has been watching this closely all day long. Art? Well, Tom, after hearing Kerry's remarks today, I would say that a military strike is all but a foregone conclusion. And as we've been reporting all week, it appears that strike will be delivered in the form of cruise missiles fired from at least four, if not five, Norfolk-based destroyers already on high alert and within striking range. Just as it appears all but certain that the U.S. military will get the order to strike targets inside Syria, Secretary of State John Kerry's remarks give every indication that the Norfolk base fleet, equipped with cruise missiles capable of reaching targets more than a thousand miles away, will be the ones to deliver America's response to the Assad regime. Listen carefully to Kerry's description of the kind of attack he said the president is considering. It will not involve any boots on the ground. It will not be open-ended. And it will not assume responsibility for a civil war that is already well underway. That's not the only thing the Secretary of State revealed about the action it appears now that the Obama administration is in fact about to take against Syria. The president has been clear. Any action that he might decide to take will be limited and tailored response to ensure that a despot's brutal and flagrant use of chemical weapons is held accountable. But Virginia's second district congressman, Scott Rigel, disputes the notion that an attack utilizing dozens, perhaps even hundreds of cruise missiles from our Norfolk based fleet strains the definition of a limited response. I think we've come so callous to, to violence and to war and to the uh, tremendous uh, lethality of cruise missiles that to think that we could even launch one of them and describe it as limited, I think this is, uh, we've just done a disservice to the English language and any rational definition of the word limited. This matters to us, and it matters to who we are, and it matters to leadership and to our credibility in the world. Well, credibility is certainly an issue for the United States in this crisis, but there are other matters of importance for the country to consider before shots are fired. We'll hear from our local leaders in Washington, as well as the president himself, on that part of the story tonight at 6. Art Khan, 10 on your side. So for now, those five destroyers, the Stout, Ramage, Mahan, Gravely, and Barry, wait in the Mediterranean. Our crisis of our coverage of the crisis in Syria continues at 530 and 6 and on wavy.com.